The coming in of internet has seen the world shrinking into a global village. With social media almost taking the role of radio as it is reaching the largest audience in a short space of time. But the question remains, has social media taken over the role of traditional media? It is our role uh, as civil society to raise awareness uh, on the various issues that are of interest to citizens. Issues of how to participate in elections, issues of promoting peace uh, in communities, issues of raising concerns in terms of the management uh, of the electoral process, issues of encouraging citizen engagement with uh, those seeking political office. Uh, and all these are uh, matters that we deal with on a day by day basis through various ways be it conferences that we are holding, be it pamphlets and uh, newsletters that we are printing. Uh, statements that we are sending out, advocacy meetings that we are hosting uh, or holding with the uh, 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 state agencies or uh, political parties. And all these messages uh, must be known, must be shared by someone. And uh, there is again no doubt uh, that as many of our people are no longer uh, reading uh, or are no longer listening to the tradi traditional uh, platforms of, the me of media, newspaper readership, uh, is on the decline, as we are all aware, uh, at least from the ZAMS, the Zimbabwe Media Product Survey, uh, that we can all have, we have access to. Um, television viewership uh, might be steady, but people are more interested in watching entertainment programs than listening to um, hard, uh, hardcore uh, civil society or political discussions. Uh, and more and more people uh, are found on the social media um, My name is Chapat Sotsayishi. I'm an IT consultant. I would like to shed more light on uh, traditional media versus uh, social media. Um, the advantages of uh, social media is that uh, it's now much easier for people to communicate uh, compared to the old ways of uh, doing things. Like back in the days, people used to rely on newspapers as uh, the major source of information. But now it's uh, much easier for one to communicate to someone in the United States or even in the UK via email or even uh, other forums such as WhatsApp, um, Skype and the likes. So yeah, it's uh, quite efficient. I'm Mokwetsi, I'm the digital editor of uh, Alpha Media Holdings, uh, managing all their platforms, that is the websites and the social media accounts. Um, social media has had an influence on us a lot. It has changed the way we produce, the way we consume, the way we distribute news. What has been happening of late is that um, the audience has been sharing news um, amongst themselves. Um, and, and we felt uh, for a while as journalists that um, you know, we led the, the opinion, we led the conversation. But what we've discovered is that we have to follow the reader where they are. This is why we're coming up with all these Facebook pages. This is why we're coming up with all the, the Twitter accounts. That, that, that is a strategy to be with the people so that we share their opinions, so that we even shape the way they think, where they are concentrated. So the way we've covered news has been affected in that way. It has been affected because we have begun to understand that most of the breaking news is actually coming from the citizens, that the citizens are first on the scene, that the citizens are sharing pictures on Facebook. I don't know how many times we have covered stories that um, have been broken on Facebook, how many stories have been broken on Twitter. How, I don't know how many times we've used pictures that uh, our citizens have, have taken on on Flickr uh, under Creative Commons, which, which allows you to use those pictures without uh, having to pay for anything. You have citizens who post their pictures and allow you to use. So that 
has been a positive impact to us. It has made uh, the work easier. We now understand that social media is complementing, not competing with us.